There is salt and sea and thirsty throats and so many hands that hold on. One hundred people in an orange lifeboat designed for ten, blown up with panic breaths in half the time. Only some of them have life vests as if they don't all deserve to survive. The water is both freedom and final, a possibility body, a rougher conveyor belt that doesn't question your luggage or empty papers, but has no idea where you'll end up either. It sends you off with wild indifference. The lifeboat rushes with a desperate hope for better places where the grass is quietly green, not filled with bullet cartridges or bent knees forced apart like open staplers, but a slip under the icy waters can pull you onto another path. Don't look back, Orpheus, if you want to see your wife again. Just trust she is behind you and will still be there when you reach the other side. But parts of you are left behind, gaps where people used to be like mouthfuls of missing teeth. The houses are uprooted, naked and shivering. You can sometimes see terrified eyes trapped between the floorboards waiting for the drop, wondering if this will be it. Hands up in the heavens praying. Make this boat a shrine, a vessel for holy cargo. Make this boat documented and written like scripture, a slow offering if everyone is still and steady, hopefully. They will pass safely over the ocean's open mouth. Hold your breath until they get here. Open borders like floodgates, like mercy. When they arrive, rush out to meet them. Make sure those hands have something steady to hold.